Listen up, cluckheads. You're listening to Whiskey and Wine with Rooster and the Madman, where we talk about common sense, current events, the Constitution, and morals. Morals. While comparing drinks of yesteryear to drinks of today. So sit back, relax, leave us a comment. Here comes Whiskey Whiskey and and Wine. That was really the only thing that I could really... Oh, hey, heard a joke. Uh, so this hooker walks into a bar. Wait, wait hold on. Is, is the overlord dating again? Or <laughs> I guess it's, it's pay for play. But <laughs> it was going to be a different joke, but you know what? He is on the market. Yes. So all you ladies out there, if you're lonely... Oh, like... hey, she doesn't have a microphone. She just was waving at me. Oh, welcome back, Luckheads. <laughs> You know who we are. You know what we do. The current events. And common sense. Constitution and, and morals. I, I had to admit, more, not having morals mic'd up, but having her was, in the room is... Yeah, she's is, multitasking. Is, yeah, she, it's... So. Does she, can you see if she has her... Can she have her cards? I don't know. She's got stuff that looks like it could hit me in the back of the head, so... All right, so... I guess will be a good behavior. I guess um, that we'll just... Uh, so let's just jump into this bad boy. Um, all right, so so I chose tonight, and because, you know, I should have actually gotten some Hispanic beers of the Latin flavors of the Cinco, Cinco de Mayo, de Mayo yeah, that we're recording. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> whole <laughs> battle <laughs> of uh, Puebla, right? Second French... Dude, they have like army division. They have like 150 independent celebrations. Yeah, but I think that this was this th- is the only one that celebrated in America and not celebrated in it, actual that is, Mexico. That is absolutely <laughs> true. Um, but I want to say that it was, was that it, it's because a lot of people confuse it with like the like Mexican Independence Day, and it wasn't. It absolutely is not. I, I want to say that it's the decisive victory at the Battle of Puebla over the Second French. Army I think division. I think that's the excuse. I really. Oh, think I just got a thumbs up. Oh, I think I was going to go with. I really think I it's got, more for the gringos to drink beer and you know. Cinco say, to drinko. Yeah, cinco to drinko with uh, with our Hispanic brethren here in Texas. Yeah, that's what we talk about. Yeah. So anyway, um, but I didn't I didn't get those. I didn't think that far ahead. But I knew that you know everybody's talking about how you know it's getting up into the nineties this weekend. It's going to get yeah. You time. Get, it's time to get ready for the summer body. Yeah. So. Um, and Mother's oh, Day. And Mother's, Mother's Day. Day coming up. Because that was totally wh- yeah. why I, yeah, that's I chose I, That these. was the tip of my tongue yeah. next. I was sitting there Morals going. beat me to it. Because, you know, on Mother's Day, they would like to try two different light beers instead of like a nice glass of wine or yeah. something. But anyway, so. Um, yeah, and I, on Mother's Day, make sure you tell you, the woman in your life that, hey, I'm just looking out for your figure. Yeah, because <laughs> that's not going to end <laughs> That's, that's going to have a great Mother's yeah. Day experience. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> You know, you could say that, you know, because I know that you're watching your weight or, you know, whenever you kiss her, you know, like just just say, oh, you smell so much like your sister or something like that. You know, it's (laughs) all quality mother, all quality mother day gifts. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so I got us one that um, as far as I know of, no, no one in the room has tried and it's called Bud Light Next. I've never even heard of it. This is the first time Um, I've ever seen it. It is zero carbs, super crisp, light beer, 4% alcohol. The only thing I can say that I don't like about it is that it comes in these dadgum Red Bull cans. Yeah, it's like Michelob Ultra. It's like they figure if they put it in the skinny can, like maybe it's a marketing thing that you'll feel skinny uh, or something stupid. You know what? I don't know. Let's pop this bad boy. That didn't even pop, pop good. Pop top again. That didn't even pop good. No, that's a weak. That's a weak pop. And it does not smell good. That doesn't even smell like beer. <laughs> what is this? What is this? It smells like a white claw, dude. <laughs> All right. Same can though, so you know. Uh, yeah. And you know, let's go. Let's go to the tried and true summer go to. Yeah. So Bud Light is gonna be our uh, when we're going up. So we're keeping it in the Budweiser. Yeah, family. I figured that'd be a good way to, to yeah. do it. Between so I know the, the, the Bud Light. Who hasn't had a Bud Light? It's a blue can. It's it's Bud a ballpark Light. beer. It's nothing uh, special. You get it everywhere. Uh, obviously, they say Give this is the Texas edition. Well, if you live here in Texas, every beer has no because this logo. one is the Texas edition. Well, yeah, I mean it's special. You throw Texas on there, and it's all well. No, because if you if you look, done. it's actually got it. No, I, I do see it. I'm just saying the beer say inside is no me. different than what this you get inside. This is the Texas. Texas Arkansas. <laughs> no, I refuse to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> so, Texas edition uh, Bud Light. But we're going to start with the the Bud Light next. Well, hold on. So, we got to open this. Chris. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Got to do Uncle Joe. Well, you know what? That sounds like a tall boy from being cracked uh, open. And it smells it smells like just like Bud, Bud Light. Light. <laughs> yeah. All so, right. So, yeah, we, cool. uh, you, we couldn't go without, you know, having the no, I mean, Joe Biden creepy sniff test. Yeah, you got to have it. All right. So, uh, <laughs> we've had a... Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Where's Kamala? Went, went, to, a, <laughs> went to a petting zoo today. Uh, president that that was an elementary school. <laughs> I was gonna say kindergarten, but <laughs> <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> He's just letting Come the on. kids rub his legs. Come on, man. Because you know they they like to do that. So oh, so the, we should the, probably talk about topics. Yeah. yeah, topics. So this this first topic, I'm gonna get some uh, of my cluck. Oh, yeah, we need yeah. some courage on that. I'm one. I'm gonna need some courage on this. Some cluckage, cluckage uh, yeah. for my Bud Light next super crisp light beer. Why does it taste like fruit? Why does it taste like a seltzer? It tastes like a fruited seltzer water, like a Waterloo or a bubbly or... What? I'm getting almost a pomegranate <laughs> to it. This is crap. Yeah. Morals so, is going to research. All right. Yeah. So, anyways... Um, so let me get the timer going here. You get that timer <clears throat> going. Uh, and you, our first topic... Topic that... Was brought up was Roe versus Wade. And I have so, been dreading this topic yeah, for a very long time. But you know what? We can it's very controversial. The, we can stick to the facts. We don't have to inject personal yeah, Absolutely. Opinions. But I will say, <clears throat> before we say anything, I am very pro-government staying the hell out of any of my personal health care. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Uh, and, you know, for the most part, I can I can agree with that one. Um, but let's just stick with the facts on this because this is a very heated topic, and I know we do a lot of satire and stuff like that. But we'll we'll try to still make it fun and you know keep it without infuriating everybody because this seems to be no one can have a actual discussion about this topic. No, I, I've seen so many people it's on different social media hatred platforms. on both sides of it. It's which hatred is hatred on both sides. Nobody can have a conversation about it. Yeah. And I, I've seen people like, like, literally on social media platforms, completely disown friends they've had forever. Oh, I'm watching Family a lot of my friends just had. lose their mind yeah. uh, on this stuff. Um, so, anyways, the basic facts is SCOTUS had an opinion that was leaked, and again, it's an opinion of the Supreme Court. They have not thrown anything out. They have not reversed any court decisions. But there was an opinion by one of the ju justices about it is time for this thing to be legislated. Uh, Correct. Is where it basically comes down to. I know it was a big, long page, but the basic operation is it needs to be legislated. It has been a unlegislated quasi-law of the land for 50 years, since the 1970s. Uh, Congress, Senate, states, ever You've had plenty of time to actually... Legislate, to legislate this, this the correct way. Get some rules in there. Get some foundations. Make it to where it's undisputable. But no, for fifty years we've allowed this topic to polarize and divide the country, um, and it doesn't seem like that's changing at all. Because the, their their opinion was it's time to just legislate it. Uh, states can now write their laws. The federal government can go do their thing, whatever they need yeah. to do. It's time. Uh, and you know, uh, some but you know the media is the media is really good at. Throwing out knee jerk headlines. They are. They are. And and I'm not against legislation. It it should have been legislated. Should have been legislated in the seventies. Should have been legislated in the eighties. So to blame SCOTUS on this is kind of ridiculous. We should be blaming Congress, the Senate, our representatives at the state level. They've all dropped the ball for fifty years. Yep. Um but so Interesting fact, all since we're just trying to hang on to the facts and not getting too opinionated to make everybody angry on this one. Uh, this leak, which is kind of weird for a Supreme Court leak, I don't know if that's ever happened before. Yeah, that's, that's kind of weird. Uh, but it did happen on the same day that Pfizer information was being uh, released to the public. What? Yeah, the, the, the no. COVID vaccine. Pfizer, remember, the no. most successful of the vaccines. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, its success rate, so anybody misses, I know it's not topic. It's more around Trump, but I know that's more of a big F you thing. We'll get to that later. But also coming out um, on the same day that this leak happened uh, is the Gasoline, gasoline, oh, it's about whatever, how they, Max, how whatever, they released the, the entire yeah. the client, 
the entire client list of oh, Ghislaine no, Maxwell. Never, that's, we're never yeah. going to get a list of people who went to Epstein no, that, Island. No, I'm pretty sure that that's happened. That happened the same day, right? That no, they no. It Instead, all? what happened is a federal judge during this whole chaos came in and said uh, that Maxwell is going to be her sentence is going to be reduced by ten years because oh, yeah, they that, were able to argue yeah, that's that what it her was. sentencing was a conspiracy. Yeah, that I, that you know, I was so close. Yeah, so I think they're really just kind of again. That should be a big fu item. So we'll stay out. I mean, it is, these but just, these but items you know, happen on the same day. It happens on the same day. It's almost kind of like you know, like their board of like the administration's board of advisors just like gets together and be like, you know, Joe's percentage of approval is falling even more, especially in the the wake of the economy. So we did the Ukraine, we did the COVID resurgency. Uh, what else can we do to distract everybody? Ghislaine Maxwell? No, 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 no. Don't no. want to talk about that one. Too many politicians no, on that list. No. <laughs> uh, what else could we do? How about Roe versus Wade? I like it. I like that'll, it. That'll, 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 that'll get the population in an uproar. Uh, and one last thing that was kind of a fact on that is Jane Roe herself uh, has been pro-choice. This is not an opinion. This is this is coming out of her mouth. She has been pro-choice, and she called the Roe versus Wade a mistake that she wished she had never been a part of. Yeah, and. You know, it's it's sad that it's happening now in 2022 because it should have been handled 40, 50. Oh, timer yeah, just went off. Just legislate it. Yeah. Don't don't be mad at your neighbor. Be mad at your congressman. Be mad at your senator. Yep. Be mad at your president. Uh, these people have all failed you for 50 years. So, uh, what do you think about the super crisp light beer Bud Light next? I personally would like to meet the CEO of uh, Anheuser Busch. Uh, and then shove this directly up his anus. <laughs> Not because it's a fantasy of mine or anything, but uh-huh. uh, sure. There's no reason the word beer <laughs> should be on this. There is not. <laughs> what you got over there? This tastes like club soda with a little bit of pomegranate or something in it. It's it's something weird. Morals has a weird look on her face too. It was created with the next generation of drinkers in mind. Oh, it was created with the next generation. Did you read that off? The- the, millennial it's, so it's it's one more thing millennials are screwing up so in this country. say that again because i don't know if the microphones can pick you up way over there it's made with the next generation of drinkers in mind so all you white claw fanatics out <laughs> so there y- y- are ruining beer this next generation is weak <laughs> We would we would we would we would still go to work the next day with the mad dog bottle of 2020 yeah like in the truck and it's carb free because they, yeah. they make it with rice. So uh, the difference between making beer with rice versus hops is Saki. making with rice is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is pretty good. Hops is correct. <laughs> you rice know what? Is wrong. I will. This is up there with still reserve. Uh, well. If it's, I wanted a, it's right. If below I it. wanted a seltzer water, this is still better than that ranch water crap you brought. Yeah, probably better than the ranch water. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's take a sip Stick of old tried and true blue here. All right. Here we go. It's Bud Light. It ain't fancy. It's Bud Light, man. It's Bud Light. Put this in a clear solo cup. Put me at the ball game. Yeah. Hot dog. We're good to go. Pretzel, peanuts. Yeah. And you know what? But it tastes Bud Light it, but next this, has got me really yearning for just regular Bud Light. <laughs> but this is like five star compared to that. Oh, that's right. terrible. All right, so let's because go. you can't get more basic than Bud Light. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sitting here drinking this in my yoga Maybe pants and the Uggs. Texas edition. I, I, I mean, literally, I yeah. have my yoga pants, my Uggs, my pumpkin spice latte, and my Bud Light. <laughs> well, now you can have your next to go with it. <laughs> All right, next topic. Oh. Uh, oh, celebrity updates. I'll let you start. Timer oh, started. Yeah, celebrity updates. A little bit of a turn on this one. Uh, um, I know we've talked about a little bit like the Amber Heard and stuff like that, so we're just going to dedicate a little segment to celebrities. Um, speaking of Amber Heard, uh, so she's been giving her testimony in the Johnny Depp trial for all you people keeping up with that one. Uh, funny, again, we can get more information out of the Amber Heard Johnny Depp trial than the Maxwell or Epstein what? trials. But what? Yeah, no. yeah it's weird, right? Um but, so I'm watching this testimony with Amber Heard, and she's pretty much 
done the proverbial crap in the bed <laughs> there on the testimony <laughs> in the witness stand. I, I love her fake crying too. <sighs> I've never seen somebody cry with no tears as much as this 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 yeah. one does. It's painful to watch her. Uh, I don't know how she got an Aquaman. <laughs> but but you know what? I absolutely I got a job. job. Are you for real? Oh, so Morals yeah. just chimed in that um And again, I De- want to make it De- clear De- on my stance on, on the Aquaman. Amber Johnny Depp thing. This is two train wreck celebrities who got married and created a perfect storm. But you know what? I would like to give a shout out to all my exes for never taking a dump in the bed. Or severing your finger. Or severing my finger with a bottle of vodka. Yeah, it's uh it's it's tough to watch. I mean, it's yeah, it's yeah, girls gotta have goals. Thanks, morals. <laughs> I appreciate that, morals. You heard it first, right here. Girls gotta have goals. <laughs> so, uh, moving on from the Amber Heard Johnny Depp fest, um, you know, so we've got. Uh, oh wait, no, before we left this, she did get a new PR team too. Oh yeah, because they they fired her. Uh, she fired her PR team because she was taking too much negative publicity. Yes, and the minute I heard weird. that, I'm like, girl, literally one of the most loved characters of all time in multiple franchises that donates a considerable amount of money and time to children's charities you just committed domestic violence on and then lied about it oh yeah i i, I have a feeling unfortunately yeah she is a domestic abuser uh, and it happens a lot more than people think it does where the woman is the aggressor yeah. uh, over the man um is so it just, is it just because my beard's shorter than yours yeah, I think so. Is that what it is? That's what it is. Am I being too aggressive towards you? Exactly. Way too My aggressive. My nipples are sensitive right now, Way bro. Way too aggressive. <laughs> um, so moving on to the next one. So another celebrity situation going on out there is we all remember the Chris Rock slap <laughs> uh, with Will Smith. Uh, that was a fun one. And the only thing I could think of. Oh, never mind. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, so, I'll I mean, we all said that, you know, that could set a dangerous precedent where now you say comedians say these things on stages uh, and fans or people in the, in the audience get upset and they attack the comedian and sure enough um they're doing a netflix special in los angeles and dave chappelle and it's a bunch of comedians chris rock was there too oh yeah, yeah dave yeah. chappelle's turn. jamie fox was there yeah dave, dave chappelle's up there on you know the stage doing his thing being dave chappelle uh you know just seeing how he sees the world and he gets attacked <laughs> crazed they're saying activist they're, they're uh, saying he was an activist um, I've heard transgender, I've heard but I don't know trans- if that's... But I, they're just saying activist but right it was, now. But it was a knife hidden in a gun? Well, no, it's one of those novelty truck style or you know flea market kind of things where you see this, where it's like a little miniature gun, you know, like a fake one, but it's got a knife that pulls out of the barrel, kind of stupid pocket knife that you probably couldn't open a box with for, worth a flip. So he apparently pointed it at people backstage or something. But Dave Chappelle, he had a great thing. He, Did you see his security he, team? Uh, yeah, they were on it, man. They were on it. They not were, only were they on it, but they uh, bent the dude's arm the wrong way. Yeah, they, they were on it. That guy, uh, they but got But then afterwards, he gets up there, and he's just like. Yeah, he had some, he had some fun words. <laughs> Do you words. see that, Cluck? Yeah, we won't, we won't repeat what he said, but it was pretty funny. And but then the Chris Rock I, comes the running The only out. thing I can think of, though, is that once he started his stand-up back up and he was making fun of the guy while he's back there on a gurney. Yeah. with You could still see the medical team like... Cluck around r- find like, out, r- man. Rush, rush around him. The only thing I could think of is that one episode of the Chappelle show and he goes, why? Because cluck him. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> so Chris Rock runs out there when Dave Chappelle is getting dusted off and they're picking him up. He runs out there and he grabs the mic uh, and his immediate reaction was, was that Will Smith? <laughs> Uh. Oh. oh goodness! <laughs> so yeah, so Will, if you're listening, uh, Mr. Smith, whatever you like to be called, I don't know, whatever. Um, um, Jada's husband, um, yeah, Mrs. J- Miss, Mr. Jada. <laughs> I would like to let me rephrase this. Very well, job. Very well done on your job, Mr. Chappelle. Yeah. So um, oh, timer just you went did off. Set a dangerous precedent, everybody. Timer just went off. Man, I ain't got nothing to say. It's Bud Light. It's Bud Light. Uh, the other one sucks. <laughs> Well, we got to do the go back, so you, you ready to do that one? Do the next to the Bud Light? Or the Let's Bud do Light the next, next to the Bud Light. All right. Yuck. <laughs> Literally, that tastes like a five-star ale compared to this next whatever this is. 
Yeah, no, it's not good. No, it's not. All right, so now it's time for the big FUs. FUs. It's for follow up. Does it? Does it really? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> All right, timer uh, started. Why don't you go ahead and start this one there, Rooster? All right, good old Sleepy Joe President Biden, whose whose uh, approval rating has fallen even further. Just so you know, yeah, I don't know how on you, the left and the right. I don't know how you could keep. Getting the worst numbers and in the U.S. history as a president. There but has been a record number of people ages 18 to 24 that in the next election have decided to vote for the GOP because this is going, quote, nowhere near the right direction. Yeah, nobody believes the economy is going to yeah. recover. Everybody knows it's in the toilet. Um, but, but, so Biden has had a lot of remarks. One, one of his quotes I'd like to say that he did yesterday uh, was he, and here's the quote, in one of his speeches, and it was over the Roe versus Wade thing, his quote on that one, MAGA supporters are the most extreme political organization that has existed in American history, end quote. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so that, so that if includes... You, if, if, you're, if you got the red hat... That includes the KKK. Yeah, so, so, so if, you're, yeah. if you vote for Trump, that's basically, they're more extreme than the KKK. Uh, more no, extreme only, than, only say, if you wear MAGA stuff. Oh, um yeah, I don't know. I mean, because... Because, you know, the, the KKK was bad. They bad, but, yeah, yeah. But... You know, funny fact not, not is as the bad. Democrat Party started the KKK. Uh, okay, easy there, Mr. Conspiracy Theorist. <laughs> so <laughs> No, it's not a conspiracy. You can just look it up. No, that's that's it's false a, history. No, it's fact. And most, um, uh, most Klan members you know, probably was, still vote Democrat. <laughs> it was, uh, it, you know, it was a worse than the Black Panther Party. Yeah, I mean, it's... Um, oh, wh what about the, the uh, everything with, like... You know, with with this administration, that the darkest day in American history was the Tulsa race riots of the 1920s. That was oh, pretty, wait, that no, was pretty bad. I no, mean, that's one of my oh, think, it, was, the worst it was it was it was uh, it was Pearl Harbor. You would think because oh, okay. you know Hold how on. many Americans died. 9/11. Uh, <sighs> you know, yeah, a lot of murder on that one too. But no, no, uh, was, it, was it whenever we brought the bodies back from World War One? No, World no, War II? even worse. Ah, uh, yeah. January sixth, twenty twenty. Yeah. So you know when that they makes open, sense when they open the doors and then the velvet ropes and those people yeah. filed in. Yeah, I mean that yeah. was the darkest day in American darkest history. Darkest day, man. Extreme. And, it, and it's because extremism. of these extreme political organizations. Yeah, extreme political organizations. With, with but I mean, really, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the good news is, if you want to put a positive light on it, uh, is the Minutemen would have been an extreme organization. They, they would have the been. The Founding Fathers would have been an extreme organization. Uh, even the you mentioned the Black Panthers. Even they got their start. And in, in I was, you know, you look at back at their original start in California, I think it was in San Francisco, uh, yeah, where they were doing the thing. San Fran or San Jose. Yeah, and they were really just kind of protect, you know, making sure that their own citizens uh, were not being brutalized by yeah. the police by just standing guard and making yeah. sure everything wasn't up and up. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely uh, not. They obviously went very more militant on that one. And, yeah. You know, then it started frightening a lot of people. But I, I, I wasn't not from that time frame. So, you know, like anything else. So, Come on, man. Extremism could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. History's the judge. But I really think Biden said it as a negative. Probably. Probably. So but I had to guess. But, you know, I'm so thankful that we don't have, you know, everybody screaming that. Trump's going to get us into World War Three, because you know we just found well, out that Russia advised NATO that they were going to start bombing all the weapon transports. Yeah, with the Western. Yeah, yeah. From, yeah so, yeah. because you know we haven't seen that. I don't know. And uh, well, we saw that. And uh, what was war, that? What was that really every big war one ever? <laughs> A World War One. And then we saw it in that second one. Yeah. Uh, yeah we, World War Two. Yeah. And then we, we saw it in in Korea. Yeah, in Vietnam. In Vietnam. And yeah. It's, and uh, we saw it in Desert Storm. We see it in the Middle East all the time. Yeah. With Israel I mean, bombing uh, Hezbollah shipments coming from Iran and Syria and things. But like you know, that. this one's saying that specifically they're going to. Yeah. Pretty much to, every war ever, you you attack a country's supply line, especially if it's weapons and ammunition. Yeah. So I mean. Almost like they're saying, "Hey, no, they're giving it. No, it's they're giving us the warning. We're, 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 we're about to start knocking your convoys out." And then you know, I'm just so glad that we have the current administration and the backbone, and the the spine, and the dare I say testicular fortitude to uh, see this through. If our troops yeah. get obliterated by Russian warfare. Yeah. So, you know. So just just my my two cents. If we run out of time, um, 
So I talked about the Pfizer thing. So the effective rate was actually 12% that came out of the papers on that one. So if you got your oh, yeah. vaccines... Um, 12% efficacy. It wasn't really the 95% they told you in the beginning. It was uh, 12%. And but there was like a 94% chance if you were pregnant that it was going to yes, harm the baby. That it was going to harm the baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, timer just went off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not really a big um, FU, but we need to we need to give pay a little yeah, homage so, to... Uh, the, uh, this, and, the, and this is definitely not a follow-up for anything like that. But before we go and start doing our go-backs... I want to give a special so shout block. out to uh, already blocked it out the, the trauma. Yeah, I already <laughs> did. Yeah, um, to Naomi Judd. I mean, oh. um, the the Judds were a an, an amazing musical group through the the eighties and early nineties. They were a staple. Mama and daughter, yeah, they, uh, Winona and yeah, uh, they were a Naomi. staple of country music. And uh, it was it was really shocking and sad to hear that they were finally going to get in, inducted into the Country Music Hall of yeah. Fame, and then the day before it happened. Um, Naomi passed away. I'm not sure if all the details have been released yet. All I know is that she it, that the family said is that she was suffering from a mental illness. Yeah. So I'm not sure what all the details are. Yeah. Um, that could be a follow up later. But it is undeniable the effect that they had for the the next generation for the for the past 40 years in country music. Yeah, they were game and, changers. And the way that they did harmonies, the things that they sang about, the way that they sang them. Um, so very special, heartfelt um, condolences go out to the to, heck of a talented to the, family to the too. Judd I mean, family. that woman, yeah. she what she, uh, Winona, uh, Winona Ashley. and Ashley, yeah. yeah. And you know, Billy Ray Cyrus is a cousin, I believe. I didn't know that. Yeah, that fact that I didn't know that broke my achy breaky heart. <laughs> uh, all right, let's see all what right. You so did. let's go. Let's go from this Bud Light Bud back Light to next. To next. Mm. Still Bud Light. Bud Light. Oh, that doesn't make it better. <laughs> that is just awful. Oh, I just I'll tell you what. The oh, it's worse. The, there's we, a fruit flavor in there. There's I don't something, know what it is. There is something in there that leaves me very prickly on the insides. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, for anybody out wins. there. Yeah, anybody out there thinking Bud Light. Yeah, that's my vote, too. Uh, morals? Yeah. All right, we're going to just Bud Light because anybody who picks the other one is just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if you're thinking out there and you're in the grocery store and you're like, hey, man, really trying to watch my carb count. Um, go with the Yingling this. Flight. Zero carbs. Yeah, go with uh, Yingling Flight. Uh, it's far better than Michelob Ultra. Uh, and this is just. This, this is an abomination of mankind. I'm going to yeah, say this it. Is, um, this is. This is like the nuclear bomb. It should have never been invented. This can only get worse from here. Yeah, it, it, sh- it should have never happened. Realistically, what I can see is that this is going to get put in that little book at Geneva yeah. for being able to be used for war crimes. Put it this way. Uh, since we talked about the, the Russian-Ukrainian conflict, if it was a Russian general who created this recipe, Putin would have him killed. Yeah, but he would have had him killed even if he made a really good one yeah so that's not that's not really saying anything there rooster you know we could send this to john Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I thought about that but you know Kerry, I mean, that uh, that life size well, cut out of john up too late. i mean we heard he's probably he's, pro- he's probably still drinking that still reserve we sent him yeah i mean i don't, they don't think well, we sent him jack, that, has he? we sent him that still reserve and we sent him whatever that tequila was yeah I mean, yeah you know we haven't done tequila in a while he's still part of the white house administration i have no idea yeah, he's worthless. <laughs> <laughs> the, the administration or, or Kerry? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right, Clock Kids. <laughs> you have been listening to episode 49 of Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman. And remember, in a world full of chickens, be a rooster. You're listening to Whiskey and Wine. Thanks for tuning in to Whiskey and Wine with the Rooster and the Madman, where you can catch brand new episodes every Saturday at 4 p.m. on Deep Dallas Radio on Locked and Loaded with DJ Shane Guns. Special thanks to our sponsor, GiftedChicken.com, home to all your beard, bath, and body care needs. Veteran owner operator right here in North Texas. Remember to pick up a bottle of Overlord's Dungeon Oil. It's 100% all-natural coconut oil. Leaves prickly on the insides.